This morning, we're taking you to a theater in North Minneapolis with a history that dates back nearly a century. And Allie, they've been tapping their way into the hearts of children from a very young age. They certainly have. The curtain call at the Lundstrom Performing Arts Center started in the 1920s when Dorothy Lundstrom took over Ascension School of Dance with her sisters. They taught not just stage skills, but life skills. When Dorothy Lundstrom died in 1998, she willed the studio to one of her former students, Amy Casserly Ellis, and her four sisters. And it's how the studio's now executive director is carrying that commitment that makes Amy Casserly Ellis a Minnesotan to meet. They say at Lundstrom Performing Arts Center, it's the place where Broadway meets West Broadway. And it's also where Amy Casserly Ellis got her first taste of musical Ooh, theater. What a wonderful phrase! After performing in places like New York's Perry Street Theater and Lincoln Center, Casserly Ellis is passing along the importance of improvisation to all her students, one tap at a time. A song you can take with you when you leave. You know, acting invokes empathy uh, on the part of the actor, and you know, it takes a child to wondrous places. You know, 19th century England. The theater welcomes children as young as three years old. Our cameras were there for the December showcase, where this mother of four boys worked with the theater's nine to 12 year old. You're just in command of these 15 little beautiful innocent children that are so excited to do what they're doing. It's really, um, it's really a great job. <laughs> it's really fun. Mother said straight ahead, not to delay or be misled. She says this is her favorite time of year, seeing the kids shine on stage. Seeing the excitement of the kids, meet, getting to meet their parents and their siblings. Casserly Ellis was raised off DuPont Avenue North in Minneapolis. So keeping the theater in the North Minneapolis neighborhood was important not to just her, but her four sisters who also teach at the center. They don't turn any child away. I think we have one of the richest bouquets of children of all socioeconomic backgrounds, of different colors. Um, it is beautiful. It's a beautiful melting pot. And nobody knows who's on scholarship or who's not on scholarship. They're all just friends. I do not like As executive director, she makes sure every child gets a part because like any good story, she believes these roles will help prepare students for life's twists and turns. At the end of it, they're so proud of what they've done. And you know, we always say, we need somebody to do this job, I'm like, hire a dancer. Because a dancer or actors or just people trained in the arts have the ability to be creative, to adapt easily. <laughs> It may not be the gig Amy Casserly Ellis expected, but it's a role she's playing well. I just feel like I've come full circle and I'm meant to be here. Doesn't Akuna Matata just bring you guys back? Uh -oh. yes. oh, They're gosh. so cute. They are so cute. The theater doesn't turn anyone away. Uh, Amy Casserly Ellis did tell me that they've seen more middle class families who can't afford it looking for scholarships. So Amy told me she didn't ever think she would be running a nonprofit because she is the mother of four boys and she really did just enjoy performing in New York City. But when she received that will in the mail, her mom had died a few months uh, prior to that. So she kind of felt a calling that she wanted to do something different mm -hmm. and she said it was just perfect timing. It's great. Those kids are adorable, and what a great asset in uh, North Minneapolis to have that there. Yes. Really cool. Thanks, Alan.